darling. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some really adorable holiday home decor projects. They are really easy and beautiful. There's a perler bead bow, this really cute Christmas village or waterless snow globe, and my absolute favorite, the tool Christmas tree. Plus I have some other little things that you can do around your house just to make it a little bit more festive for the holidays. And for any of you who didn't see my recent update video, I am actually in my new townhome. I am renting this. I'm not an owner, but it's still exciting nonetheless. I'll be here for at least the next year, so I have a lot of decorating to do. And I have a craft room slash office upstairs. Yay! So I'm really excited to start making new videos and more DIYs for you all. Now without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. This first way to decorate for the holidays is to create your own pixel art. I place one iron bead at a time onto these connected pegboards. Pause the video right now and duplicate what you see to create the outline of the bow or if you want to make a different shape or pattern then you can just go ahead and look up images on Google, just search for perler bead creations or perler bead patterns and you'll find so many different things. I filled my bow with really pretty snowflakes and a bunch of blue perler beads. You can use any color. As I said, this is all up to you. But here is my completed bow. And once you have all the beads laid out, you're going to put some ironing paper on top. And then you're just going to iron on a medium setting. I use the cotton setting on mine. Just go slow and in a circular motion. Once that side is ironed and it's cooled off, you're going to remove the paper and remove the pattern from the pegboards, flip it over, put the paper back on top, and iron the other side a little bit. Just iron it evenly. And there you have it, a beautiful bow or whatever type of perler bead design you decide to create. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful waterless snow globe. I'm using some clear glass jars and decorative sand. Also you'll need some figurines such as trees or snowman ornaments, anything that's really festive and cute and anything that will fit in your jar of course. After removing the lid, I'm going to use strong glue to attach a tree to the inside of the jar. And then once that has dried for a little bit, I'm just going to dump in some white sand that I got from the floral section of Michael's. And in my bigger jar, I placed two trees and a snowman ornament. Another pretty way to display your ornaments is to use candle holders. I got mine from the dollar store and here I have three different heights and I'm just placing a snowman in each. And at the base, I am placing a little red bow. Now on to the most beautiful thing ever, the tool Christmas tree. Measure and mark a wooden coaster type shape to form the base of your tree. After finding the center, you'll want to drill a hole. If you're like me and maybe haven't done much drilling or any, then you should ask someone who's experienced with using tools. So I asked my stepdad to do this part for me. Just go ahead and ask an adult if you're young or someone who knows what they're doing basically. The hole in mine is about halfway through the wooden block and then I found a wooden dowel that would fit nice and snug into that hole. Then I'm going to erase the pencil lines and I'm going to glue the dowel into the hole just to make it more stable. Thank you. 
Next, start cutting your tool into a ton of different sized strips. My longest strip is about 20 inches in length. I would actually recommend starting with maybe an 18 inch strip and then making shorter and shorter ones as you move on just because I cut some off at the end. So after you make about 10 to 12 of your longest strip, you'll want to make the next shorter one about an inch shorter. So if you start with 18 inch strips, make the next one 17 inches and the next one 16 inches and so on and so forth you'll need at least a hundred maybe 200 of these strips total but like i said you keep cutting them shorter and shorter as you go on but for now just start with a few different lengths i just start with three here and for the first strip just take one piece of it and you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to just fold that in half so you have the two ends meeting. And you're going to just wrap that around your dowel and you're going to make a slip knot. So you're going to pull the ends through that loop and just pull tight so it stays on your tree base. And you're just going to repeat this step over and over and over and over and over again. And here you can see I just have my longest strips around the bottom. They just kind of poof out like a tutu, but it's going to be a tree. It's going to take a while, but it will be a tree. Once you're closer to the top, you might not be able to cut your pieces as short as you want them to be. So you can just kind of make maybe 8 inch strips and tie it and then if you need to trim, you can, like I am here. And then, once all of your pieces are on the tree, you want to do whatever you can to cover up the wood at the top. So I just cut a piece or a few pieces of tool and I'm just going to fold them over the top and then tie more pieces around that to secure it. And finally, you'll want to find a tree topper. You can use a star ornament or anything star-like. You can make one out of duct tape or a piece of wood and paint it. Just be creative. Finally, I'm going to show you some really quick ideas that you can use for decorating. So here I have a star container and some potpourri that I got from the dollar store. And then I am putting bows and little ornaments in there to just spruce it up a bit. In my kitchen, I am putting these really festive towels. I got the gingerbread man one from Joanne Fabric and the gray ones are from Target. And then in the bathroom, I'm putting out this Bath and Body Works soap that is iced gingerbread. It smells so good. And of course, you can never go wrong with window clings. So here are some Dollar Tree window clings. They have a ton of different ones. And you can just decorate your windows with these, of course. Other ideas that I didn't show are decorative pillows. Oh, and this little wooden guy I bought from Michael's Craft Store. I haven't painted it yet, but you get the idea. You can buy wooden shapes and decorate with those. If you end up making any of these really adorable holiday DIY projects, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me a picture of what you create. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I will have a link to my Christmas playlist in the description box below, and that will include all of my past holiday videos as well as the ones from this year. I have some really cute things in the past that I have done, such as Christmas chocolate making and ornament wreaths, which are super pretty. So if you think those are cool, and I also have felt Christmas tree ornaments, so yeah, just check all those out below and actually coming up on Friday I'm going to be doing some DIY Christmas ornaments. So yeah, just be excited. Just look out for that stuff. We're gonna end this video with some reindeer ears on. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye!
this is my pretty ugly Christmas sweater, so I'm kind of a walking contradiction right now. I don't know how that works out, so let me know in the comments section below if you think this is pretty or ugly. So, no, what? Ooh. Or waterless slope, no, the tool. Oh, I moved the star off of that. Yeah, the star is not glued on yet. Secret spoiler alert. <laughs> My palms are pounding. So, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dropping everything. This is the wreath that I was talking about. I made this video a couple years ago. Bye.